Hey everyone, Aria Labs here with the blog to watch. Please subscribe to our videos on YouTube and like this video if you find it useful. This is a review of the Lejeure Mark I. This happens to be the Mark I with the meteorite dial and the reference number is the Mark I LJ-MI-007. The irony of the Mark I is that it's inspired by the Omega Speedmaster Mark II. Um, Lejeure is a older uh, name in watchmaking, which has been resurre resurrected recently. Um, and the Mark I is probably their most popular watch right now. It's, it's very nicely made. It is set as a, it's not an inexpensive watch, but it's not a super expensive watch. So it's definitely cheaper than, um, you know, your, your similar Omega. It's more expensive than a lot of sort of the independent watches, but it's, it's very nicely made. It's got a Swiss Eta Valjo 7750 automatic movement in there. And what really makes this one interesting for me is that meteorite dial. The meteorite dial version adds um, a good, not a huge amount of money, but a good amount of money to the overall price. But then again, you get that because you like the look of the meteorite, which I happen to like quite a bit. It doesn't look exactly like an Omega Speedmaster Mark II, but definitely that's the look they're going for. And I think in a lot of ways, Lejour did some things that, that allow this watch to sort of stand out for itself. One of the things I like that they did is they had this bracelet which tapers. It goes the full width of the case and it has some nice polished beveled edges there that I think really work really well. It's a little bit on the thick side. You can see that the bezel is rather high up and that's because the dial is quite deep. I'm not necessarily sure why it is so thick. It wears comfortably enough, but as you can see, it is quite a thick watch in terms of the size. The case is 42 and a half millimeters wide. Let's put it on. It is, it is a fun watch for sure. So there it is on the wrist. So you can see it, it, is, a, it is a bigger watch. It's a lot of metal, it's heavy, uh, but I definitely like it. The Orange mixed with meteorite is an interesting combination, and I can't think of really any other watches out there that have this look. I also appreciate that even though it has meteorite and you were a little bit distracted by the interesting textures um, of that, met that crystallized metallic look, you also have a lot of legibility. The hands and the hour markers are very easy to see, and so nothing about the decorative element of this watch takes away from it being a, a, a tool watch or a utility watch. It's sort of a, a decorative utility watch. So again, this is a Lejeure Mark I the version with the meteorite dial. Retail price is $3,100. You can see the full review on a blog to watch. Thanks.